Hello everyone, welcome back to our Imperial campaign. Let's go look around real quick. We've got John Furenberg, who's nearby in the planet of those spiders. We can't have any spiders over here. We'll have to increase our replenishment if we're able to, and we can. We'll come down now to the planet of dogs. It's pretty far away, but we can make it there in time, I'm sure. We're we'll gonna march a little bit. What a cool little part of the map, though. I do dig it. Okay. Auto, level 23. I know you want to be able to mount a horse, but I'm not gonna let you do it yet. Turn up the men who are here. I know that many are good, but make them better. Level 22, what about you? Okay, take that spell. Carl Franz is way up here. What are we gonna have him do? We'll upgrade that building to the Eye of Hagraef. Huh, hold on, we've got face, eye, mines, and then the Dark Crag, huh. And then over here we need a guardhouse and potentially a road. Sure, we can go to Nagarond in one more turn. Can we reach it now? Can we reach it now? You're kidding me. Okay, that should be a challenge. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build some siege towers. Indeed, we're going to take over their capital. The Witch King is still potentially trapped down here trying to get back home. The High Elves are winning. We've got a great war that's happening all around. The Dali are now fighting the High Elves, and I'm not joining in that. Not at all. Not me. They do hate me, so we could have a war breakout. I don't really want to have a war breakout, but it could happen. Yeah. Who's over here? Level 35. She's very strong. Wow. How are you guys even alive still? Can you recruit down here? I guess you can. Okay. A Rothead Reaper. Who do we have? The Witch King is over here. Is he going to try to come home? I have no idea. What a bad idea, man. He pushed too hard. The High Elves cut him off. Yeah, they can't get back home. We're just destroying them now. We'll keep on doing that. I'm not done yet. I'm here to make a lot of money. I'm here to colonize the new world. Many will die because of it. All right, come on down. Volkmar, you nearly have all that you need. I'll name that Witch Hunter pretty soon and that Jade Wizard, though not yet. I need to get a mod to make his mustache white. It's not meant to be brown. He looks way too young there. It's to be white. There is a mod for it, too. It's very cool. All right, Kronkar, are we ready? We are now ready. We have everything that we need. I can't really auto-resolve without potentially losing anyone, so let's go into battle right now. We're actually going to talk about Volkmar the Grim when it comes to lore. Yeah, that should be exciting. I uh, will certainly enjoy that. Let's go look at it. The Battle of Kronkar. Zaram. We're fighting a Dark Elf called Zaram. I would love to potentially learn how to make a mod to rename everything to something more elven for every faction. I don't know who, like, put in these little name pools here, but they should be slapped a little bit. Not like a bad slap, just like a backhand with a little bit of baby powder on the back of your hand to make a big plume of smoke. Of powder. <laughs> okay. Maybe I have given that thought. I don't know. Let's go look over here now. I need to have my holy men get onto that wall. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. We're going to make sure our holy men go out there and fight. I'm going to get these guys to push their own siege towers <laughs> yeah they're gonna go right up there man it is time it is a day of holy men and they will all go out and fight Dominic Weiss you'll be out there pretty soon yeah he kind of came a little bit late I mean I know he wants to destroy undead but there's not really a lot of undead left which is a good thing I mean I'm sure he's not gonna complain about that okay I think we are largely good to go. Let's go ahead and get our group up here. We'll get everyone to move up so we can go attack them. Much like that. I don't really have a lot of artillery. <laughs> I only have my Luminarch. If you want to count that as artillery, then sure. But here we go now. They're like, oh no, hundreds of men are in one siege tower. Oh no, it's only one Arch Elector, one Warrior Priest. Zip. Oh. I really do wish like more of the buildings here could be destroyed because I love that. It's so cool. Whoa. Can I see inside? Can I see some lewds inside? No? Okay. I mean, it's a dark elf location. There's bound to be lewds somewhere. Go check out our siege showers real quick. Well, that feels kind of impractical. <laughs> but again, nothing in here is really practical, I suppose. We did build our siege towers and now we're ready for another attack. Let's get over here. I didn't notice how like in Rome 2, you can besiege a town for a few turns and they'll just begin to lose men on each side. I thought that was kind of neat. 
it gives a bit of urgency to your battles. I don't know if I fully agree with it, but I really do hope in the future we can get actual town fights. That would be really cool. Where you can encircle the entire town. I mean, imagine like a naval invasion over here or something cool like that having to go up the stairs. Or something. Oh, God. Raw sewage, come on. Now I've got to kill you. Polluting everything. It's nasty, dude. I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Okay. They're jumping out now. We've got holy men jumping out. We've got... Yeah, they're just all lurching towards them. Holy crap. <gasps> Alright, you know what? Let's have you not attack anymore. That was a little bit nerve-wracking. They've been shooting Dominique. Well, don't do that. That's very mean. Okay, let's move you guys out of the range of that fort tower. Like over here, maybe. And all of you. Kind of hard to move out of the way, I guess, but... Whatever, man. Okay, we got more guys that we need to move into these locations. Let's move them over here. I want to move you over here. Over here. And we have two more to go. Two, so... Oh, wait, nope. Hold on. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Use what you need. Is that a dark conduit? They use a dark conduit to nearly wipe out all of my men. I had a feeling they would do that. And they are animals for it. Use everything that you need to. We're taking this location. Blast your dark conduit. We've already cut down so many other soldiers. I mean, we're very strong. 42 uh, weapon strength. They're at what? They're only at 31. Okay, so they're actually strong too. But again, we're naked holy men who have a frenzy going on. We do what we want. We'll kill them now. I do you want to get rid of any type of dark conduit opportunities? I doubt we can do that every time. When the cooldown is up, they will use it again. All right, let's go buff up some guys over here. Right now. Pretty good. They continue to fight and take the walls. They're bashing people up, man. I don't even want to think about how many they just killed. I mean, they are all clumped up. They're not very well equipped. I mean, they've got the Ward of Sigmar. That's all that you really need, right? Yeah, that's true. Who needs armor? <laughs> Alright, here we come now. Arch Lector. He's still fighting. We've broken most of them on the wall. It feels good having that many siege towers. We're actually getting kills. Oh, magic. Yeah, they're using magic up here, all right. Murderous Prowse has been, I believe, enabled, right? Has it? Yeah. Unless, like, that might be a different skill. I don't see the cooldown going down. Either way. Let's go look around. What do you have going on? No, I don't believe it's actually activated yet. We look at it. I mean, it's popped up, but... Alright, let's go ahead and use what we need to to win the day out. No matter what I lose here, we'll keep on pushing down. I mean, my men can't be broken anyway. You can come down and go fight. Go down and go fight. Blackheart Corsairs have no chance. I want all of my flagellants to group up with all of my other holy men. Let's bring them all down now. Come all down here. Don't you use another dark conduit on me. Really trying to use magic up here? I don't understand that. I don't have a mod like telling them to do that. That might just be an issue they need to work through. Hey, look at all my soldiers. That's a lot of men. One dark conduit could ruin our day, though. Alright, let's move down now. We have too many guys up here. Come on down. Oh god, the Blackguard of Nagaron is here too. How in the hell have we not won a few of these locations yet? I have no idea. Okay, Vindicator, come on down. I know they have a lot of magic. I don't really care. You got to care about your magic? I do not. The Arch Elector coming in. Oh, dear God. Well, good thing we used that one spell to resist some magical damage, or that would have been bad. That was really good timing on my part. Buff them all up. Let them go in and fight. We're fighting Black Guards now with my Flagellants. That's kind of funny. Oh, God. More magic is ripping right through us. Let's go over here and fight. <laughs> Let's go right over here and fight. Okay, Spears, come on down. In the future, I'll spread out my guys a little bit more. There's one guy right now, he's currently working on a mod where he's going to increase the horde amounts, like of Skaven Slaves and of Goblins and things like that. Where, like, horde factions actually feel like horde factions, but he's not going to change up the numbers for normal factions, which I want. I mean, I did try a mod where it increases all numbers, but I didn't like the idea of having more artillery in each group. I thought that was kind of lame. But I really want the dwarves and high elves to feel outnumbered. I don't know how that would play out. 
on auto resolving though. Oh dear God, we're about to lose them all. I can't believe it. It's been a while since I've lost an entire group of men. Okay, let's go ahead and buff them all up. It's really all that magic. Dear God, lady. She won't leave it alone. It's kind of hard for me to push down. We've got too many men actually all clumped up up here, which is pretty funny. Usually we're okay, but not today. Okay. Let's go move now. Go over here and attack. Hey, man. I know you guys do not have much armor. That's why you need to move. There's only nine left in this one group. Alright. You can come on down and fight these Black Art Corsairs with their hand bows. You can do that. I'm gonna go get my knights and have them come over here. After the gatehouse. We'll try to get it. Dude, how much magic does she have? Her magic is eviscerating my soldiers right now. I mean, dark conduits on the walls, and then we have this crap down here. Wow. She's giving me quite the challenge. Okay, halberdiers, you've killed 40. Go kill more before they shoot you up even further. I've got my guys fighting all over the map here trying to win. Anyway, time to talk about Volkmar the Grim. Volkmar the Grim is the head of the Cult of Sigmar and the most powerful religious leader in the Empire. He's a pious man who is incorruptible. He usually rides atop the war altar of Sigmar, inspiring the soldiers around him. There's a quote by an Imperial about Volkmar, in case you need to have a little bit of credence to back him up here. Volkmar, just look at him. He never wavers and never yields. Some say he never even sleeps. Everything about him is bent to that one great task of holding back the darkness. He can't do it alone, but then again, he doesn't need to, for his sheer resolve inspires men like us to greatness. And that just kind of tells you about how inspiring he really is, and it looks like we have some enemies breaking. Really? They're shattered? No way. We've won? Okay. Four men left in that one group. Four men left out of that entire group. Look at that. <laughs> All of their friends are kind of dead now. That was a lot of magic. All that magic is brutal. Alright, end the battle now. Decisive like victory. Okay. We lost nearly 500. We were by far outnumbering them. Yeah, so we'll talk more about Volkmar in just a moment whenever I end a turn, but... Was it really her magic? I mean, she got 41 kills. Dark Conduit, I don't believe count will count for any kills for any group. So I think that just pretty much wiped out most of my guys who were taking damage. Not to mention towers were probably doing some damage, at least to my Luminarch. Okay. The science of victory. Let me go look at her quick. I'm not going to liberate you, but I will loot and occupy. Now we have more money. Snapper. Lords over Druki, as we all are. Here's Karan Kar. Let's go repair it now, as I have a lot of money to do that. Keep the walls up, sure. Hold the quarter two. We did it. What should we call that location? I'll have to go rename every location. I do have a lot of names on my Discord channel for character names. Okay. Time for you to get me treasure again, buddy. Or a mercenary. Oh, that's actually really good. When the war never ends, there's always a need for fighting men. Heck yeah. Come over here. I'm not fighting Bretonia right now. High elves? I mean, that could be likely. We could end up invading. That would be pretty wild. We don't get along anymore. Okay, Volkmar. Again, you're chilling out here because I don't know if I'm going to go invade the high elves or not. We don't really need to move yet. I know who you are. We're moving one character down to Magrita. Okay, what can I upgrade? That would be a huge benefit to me. Here you go. And over here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's go look at Hans now. Hans Einzelmann. Still mapping things out. I mean, that is the very top of it all. Oh, look at that tree line. How convenient. <laughs> An impassable tree line. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep on moving. We're going to map out every part of it that we're able to. We're about to get freaking Nagaron to be in. How cool is that? Okay, he'll be here in a few turns now. It won't take much longer. Then he'll be ready to complete another quest for everyone here. Let's go look at who I have left. Who can I move now? Let's have a brief gander. 
Nope, they're all good. Let's go look at a few skill points, too. I mean, I could give more weapon strength. Take that for now. I do want the work of God. That way, people can't really damage them. Trying to shoot them. The damage will be cut in half. Okay, Vindicator Valderic. Our young duo of warrior priests. How are they doing? Quite well. Dominique? Vice. Here's your arcane conduit. We'll get banishment pretty soon. Oh, we did lose that entire group. Okay, well, let's go take Flagellants real quick. There we go. And now let's end our turn. Yeah. He knows Chaos can't be defeated by war alone. He spends much of his time researching scrolls and scriptures for a way to beat Chaos once and for all. He's also one of Carl's closest allies. And he's got two magical items. The Jade Griffin is carved from Enchanted Jade and is said to have been blessed by Magnus the Pious. It hangs on his chest, glowing with a green inner light and gives him regenerative powers. And then he's got the Staff of Command, which is the symbol of his office of Grand Theogenes. It draws magical power from the War Altar of Sigmar and channels it into his limbs, giving him more power to use in combat. And that is Volkmar. He goes on like a mini campaign in a campaign called, I believe, Sigmar's Blood or something. I can't remember the name exactly, but it's actually where a lot of the regiments of renown come from for the Empire and for the Vampire Counts too. That is where Gorst comes from with his like little blurb of lore. I mean, that guy's like pretty much a footnote. There's not much to him. <laughs> he's got his little backstory and he's just kind of meant to be a henchman for Manfred. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. What do you want? I mean, you're a human faction. You're humans. I'll be nice to you. I'll try to be nice to you anyway. I'm a kind man. I'm a kind emperor, right? Okay. One quest completed. You can teleport there. Yeah, I did get a little um, mod to potentially... Crap. See, the only issue is that I got it for my dwarf campaign, but I forgot to turn it off. So it's giving me a bunch of extra quests. We can't do those. There's only like one more that we need to do outside of those for Volkmar. Yeah, I did it because I wiped out all the orcs and undead. Oh, holy crap. We completed another chapter objective. That's really good. But yeah, it just kind of delivers you right to being able to do a quest whenever you're, I believe you're at a proper level for it. Otherwise, I think they would have all popped up for Volkmar. Yeah, they're not here, so. Evidently, you need to be the proper level for it. No, we're going to do it the traditional way. I don't know if these will go away. I highly doubt it. So we might be stuck with those or we might end up fighting these battles again. I don't know what will happen. Like if I'll have like more than one copy of each item, that would be weird. I don't really like that too much, but <laughs> okay. You're only level two, my friend. I wanted you to have one more witch hunter, but maybe I could make room. It will make room. Level 13. Man, it's good. Immune to psychology, even better. Take that. Let's go ahead and get you going over here. Accusation. Oh, man. We're going to kill some leaders now. Word save. 10%. Great. Take that. Have some more health. Yeah, I'll give you some stuff later to use. Okay. Jean. Can you make it there with normal movement? The plane of dogs. Okay. So now we have a plane of dogs. Gotcha. I could liberate the Awa again. I'm not going to do that. That would be way too weird. I don't know why that would be where they're at, but... Okay. Yeah, most locations are just fine. Let me go look at her quick. Placeholder. Right. Plane of Dogs. Now I need to go after the Red Desert up north. One location left. John is really busy out there doing his own thing. Let's go look. Nagarond. I've got one more turn. Actually, let's get another one. Okay, yeah, it is called Sigmar's Blood. I do remember now. Little mini campaign where Volkmar goes into Sylvania to try to quell a plot by Manfred. I mean, I could just do it now. I'm thinking about it, man. Follow me. I want to complete that quest. Traditionally. I mean, I have Arthur going down there. It doesn't really add much of a challenge. It's just kind of like a little time-consuming little placeholder. It's kind of neat like the first time, but I've already done every quest before, so it's not really any different for me. I think like having the battles pop up and maybe being a bigger challenge would be more interesting than just kind of having like little 
precursors to unlocking the final battle. Oh, God. Okay. You might be able to reach him. Let's have you get out of here. We'll bring him back later. That's a freaking black arc. <laughs> wow. When you look at it like that, we're not that far. Kind of went a little bit further to come way over here to Sigmar's Landing. Okay, so you're going to keep healing up for now. I do want you to go rebuild Black Light Tower so we can complete the entire province. Can Black Arcs actually attack on land? I don't believe they can. They can only support. I hope. I just can't remember. Alright, you'll be ready one more turn. Let me go look around real quick. Let's go look at what we have. Here's Franz way over here. Here's Nagarond. Again, we have to wait one more turn for that, so we can't do it yet. Let's go look at who can move. William. The help hit has been taken, so never mind about that. <laughs> Forget about it. Let's bring you back down now, William. Yeah, a lot of characters are now kind of stuck in limbo until I can decide what to do with them all. We don't have a new foe yet, outside of the Druki. The Druki are just who we're trying to completely destroy. Hans will now move further to the east. It'll take him some time to travel over here, but again, he's wanted to map everything out. Arthur's beginning to move down, too. He'll be here in a few more turns. There we go. Let's get an end of turn. There we go. But yeah, I believe Sigmar's Blood was actually the prequel to the End Times, if I remember right. But there's a lot more unique units the Empire needs to have. I mean, it does kind of imbalance them, I guess, in some ways for the campaign. Or not even for the campaign, but for multiplayer. But I would much rather have the multiplayer and campaign balance on their own. That would be really much better. It would be a lot more work for them. But I feel like it's only a lot of work initially, right? That you're having to balance for multiplayer and for campaign. But then after that, you only need to tweak campaign as things come along. Multiplayer, you can have it be its own dog. I mean, that would be completely fine. I think that would be really cool. Did you win? What? Really? You won? That's crazy. I didn't think you would win that battle. What do you have in your armies, man? That's allowing you to win. Fascinating. Yeah, I have no idea. Dark Elves, you're not doing well anymore. I don't know what happened to them. Feels like they were all for show. They had armies all over, then out of nowhere, they just shrunk. I mean, I know that we're invading. We've taken over a great deal. I mean, if you look at it, a great deal of their lands. Even the High Elves are beginning to invade and extract a lot of land from them. But now the High Elves are fighting the Dawi. I don't even know how that war will play out. Like, I really want to watch how that war plays out. I'm really curious about it. It's been a fascinating campaign so far. But we've met every challenge. Come over here. Nope, it doesn't really belong to me, so we'll ignore it. But we will go up north. Okay, build a little guard tower. Every location, for the most part, is pretty happy. We've got characters here. Right, because, I mean, keep in mind, I've got all these followers keeping people happy. <laughs> like, every army. It's really good. Replenishment could go up. Lightning Strike is fine, but I like being outnumbered, so we'll let that happen. Carl Franz, you are now ready. Attack. We now get to attack Nagarond. Oh, dear God me. Okay, well, here we go. I don't know if the battle will go my way. I have no clue, but we will try. We'll try to find out now to see if we can actually squeeze out a win. I was hoping to fight the freaking Witch King a few times. His magic would be, oh my God. Pardon me? Did I get a custom map for Nagarond? Because there's no way I'm playing on a vanilla map. Maybe I am. I, I don't know. Maybe one of you can tell me. I, I, I think I did like sub to a GCCM mod, which if you know the mod workshop, he makes a lot of custom maps, but I don't remember Nagarond being this. I, I'm not mad about it. Trust me. I, what the hell? What am I looking at right now? I love it. It's huge. Oh, I might get emotional here. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so we got to break in. Then we've got to go in here. Are there more towers? No, no, no. There's not more towers. <gasps> Holy crap, dude. We actually get a real siege battle. I can't believe it. Okay. I'm fine. 
I need to figure out how I'm going to fight here. So I can't like super deploy on one side. Not too easily. It's a bunch of rocks over here. Check it out, man. Hold on. That's our one road out. Okay. Let me make sure it's all logical looking. Oh, man. And there's the freaking tower. The only reason why I didn't get this maps yet is because I thought a lot of them messed up the AI, but man, if they can give me cool experiences like what I'm looking at now, okay, I'll go back. <laughs> I'll go check it out. Oh, reliable. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's come over here now and take all of that wall. All of you get to kind of wait back here. John's Revenge, I don't know what I'll do with you yet. I haven't decided. Oh, reliable. I don't know what I'll do with you yet. Don't attack. Not yet. We've got a witch hunter. Got my holy team all ready to go. And now we go into battle where we could lose many. Let's go in though. I'm going to go take over. Let's go get uh, Carl over here to go attack who? A death hag. Well, heck yeah. Go kill. Wait, wait, wait. Where is that sorceress at? Is she around here? So I'd kill her first. Her magic is really terrifying. Pardon me. Can I help you? Launching fireballs at me. Where the hell did I come from? Oh, hello. Okay, so they've got some custom stuff going on. I'm gonna let Carl fight up here for a little bit. Please don't destroy everything that I know and love. Okay, we're definitely getting custom maps now. Forget it. Because my battles are going to be so much more challenging having to deal with that crap. They've already nearly destroyed my Chaos Bane. Here, come over here and take out that location. We're all coming up. Oh god, it did slow down for a brief moment. Those are custom assets. This will kill my performance. Let me look at numbers real quick. Not too bad. Alright. All of you come over here. Oh, he's a lure on me. Okay. Let's try to quickly take over. Oh, it is slowing down a little bit, so I wonder if... I mean, that's usually why. I guess, like, they didn't want you to fight in huge towns, performance, and all that. So, we'll go in slow motion here and there. It could be, like, the spell effects from the towers, too. That's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, dear God. Not my... No. I can't believe it. No, they got my tank. Oh, crap. Come on. Regrowth in. Get more armor. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, no. They really got it. Oh, run, my friend. <gasps> Did we save him? Oh my god, I think we saved him. Earth blood, hurry. Holy crap, Bertram. That was a clutch hill. How did you do that, you magical man? All right, let's come over here now. So, Ethan can't actually get up here, but Fritz can. All right, Fritz, come on up. Let's go. Let's go take this wall. I want to get rid of all these freaking towers from being able to attack right now. He's very powerful. I feel like he'll be able to do it. Let me go find... Where's that... Death Hag at. Is that her? Yeah. I'm gonna use an accusation on her right now. Yeah. Hopefully that will do a lot of damage. Come up here and go kill her. Carl's killed 39. He's got Gaul Mirage. Go attack more. Cool. Okay, so we've taken a good portion of their wall. Let's go over here now. Kill some more Dark Shards. Great Swords move down a little bit. Go flank more of them. If they're fleeing now, go flank them. Go. You got it. We can go down now. Go down now. Well, no. Come over here and go kill these other great swords that they have going on. I mean, they have their own great swords in the form of shades. The death hag is being tossed around like a plaything for Carl Franz. What a kingster. Alright. Here's Fritz. We never get to watch a witch hunter fight in battle. Alright, buddy. Let's have you come over here and use some magic. Go buff him up. Why don't you heal him up, too? You guys over here, go after the Dark Shards. Who's being hit still? All of these guys are. Okay, well, let's just kind of move them a little bit. Not really here to use my artillery. Not right now. I did save my tank. I can't believe it. Bertram clutched it. All right, we're going to let him use some magic in a moment. Some really powerful magic. Other Spears, why don't you come over here and attack their Dark Shards? Carl, come over here and take out these other Dark Shards. They're bothering me way too much. I'm not too worried about her. Fritz, where are you at? I want to watch the battle, but I need a moment. Go get her. Go get her right now. All of you guys go finish off the guys down here. 
Ethan, I want you to head over here to try to break down the gate so you can get in. I should have put you on foot before the battle played out. Too late now. Hold on, let's come over here and debuff them all. We can do that much. We can debuff them all for our armies who are here fighting. And then we can buff up our own guys. Done. Okay, then we can use some really powerful magic. I can overcast it too. Let's go do it right now. So Bertram, how many kills do you have? None. I might change it in a moment. Let's check it out. Right in the middle of their formation. I get to use magic too, buddy. Bleed him. Bleed him now. I don't care how elite you are. He's going to do some damage. Bertram has 37 kills now. He killed a lot of elites. Let's go ahead and there's another earth blood over here. Kill up a few friends. Okay. My tank can now come over here. Wait, can I just run in now? Can I just... Are you guys going to trick me and do that again? Yeah, they open up the gate. Pass them all. Okay. Come on over here, buddy. Let's go kill them. Let's get them right now. Nope, you keep fighting where you're at. Fritz, are you done? I think you've done your part. Come over here and go fight these guys. I want all of you to move down over here. Come on. The Lord of the Pell Queen. Yeah, that got me again, huh? We got the freaking. There's very few left. I want to watch him kill. He's killed five so far. I just want to watch him get a few kills. Alright. Use more healing magic. Keep them all going. He's up here on the wall, just slaughtering a bunch of dark shards. They can't really do much. Wait, you guys came out to fight me like that? It's, okay, well, I'll kill all of you now. You came out. You retreated out of your own walls. You're just a bunch of weirdos, man. Eat soul fire, and Ethan is just chasing him down now, alone, killing <laughs> over 30 dark shards alone. Classic Ethan. Not a shocker there. He's already killed 22. What the hell? Are you shooting? Yeah. He's shooting. Well, keep on shooting. I'm really curious to see how many kills he'll get, Fritz, in your first battle. All right, man. He's downing them. 25 kills now. They're going up. Got some great swords who are taking a lot of damage. They have 191 kills, but if you look at it, they're really getting beaten up. Other dark shards are in big trouble. I'm gonna go help them out real quick. By going after more blasted dark shards. Go get them. So I have fought for one part of their town. I've got a lot of tired soldiers. I'm gonna have more guys move in soon. We finally took the gates, good. Who's over here? More spearmen, okay. Come over here. Ethan is still out here fighting a bunch of dark shards on his own. Reduce your own damage, buddy. You've got it. I've buffed you up. Fritz has 40 kills now. Carl's killing even more of the dark shards. I mean, that's his job right now to go kill all the dark shards. My poor great swords are being destroyed right now. Let's go help him out. There's very few left. Let me go heal them up real quick. Just to keep him going. That's what I'm talking about. Go charge in. So everyone's now moving in to go crush the remainder of their elite guard. I mean, that goes to show you that the Dark Elves are a threat. They just need their elite armies to come fight me. But I've broken so many factions by now. We still have 40 kills. Very good. Let's have him go in. Yeah, I think it was actually the tower effects that were causing me to slow down a little bit. It wouldn't have been the troop numbers. Okay. Thank you, my friend. More dark shards. I thought I got all of you. Nope, that group is running. Let's go back in. Carl is again just flying around the map taking care of every archer group that we can. Well, you get what I mean. Wait. Okay, good. Those are dark shards. I was a little bit worried that we had another threat on the way. I was like, oh, come on. No way. Okay, time to overcast it and cast it on everyone nearby. Yeah, this great sword really did heal up greatly. It took a bit of time, but we finally cut them down. That was a grind and a half. And here's Bertram in the middle of them all, casting spells, saving lives. I mean, he saved the entire life or lives of a steam tank crew. What a hero, man. Getting a new tank would have taken quite a bit of time, but thanks to him, we still have one. Okay, so now we need to get a few guys who are fresh to go fight for me. You two will go hold the gate. Spearman, I don't know what I'll do with you yet. You'll hold over here too. How many more do we have left? I don't know yet. We'll go find out though. Let's go in. Steam tank. Oh, we took the gate. Come on now. 
Don't trick me like that. Fritz has nearly 50 kills, so he does get a lot of kills. Holy crap. Yeah, Witch Hunters seem to be a lot better now in the past. Like, they would never get kills. Now they do. Let's go find out. Bertram will go scout things out. I hate the idea of him going out alone. Oh, dear God. Found one town square. Okay, so I will need my Demogriff Knights to come help out, too. They can do a lot of damage here. I want them to come in. Fritz, come over here and fight. I wonder what Fritz can do alone. He's killed 51 now, so he's like constantly shooting as he's fighting. We can buff him up. He's got more melee defense. I can buff him up again if I wanted to, and I kind of do. So here we go. He's more armor for him. Yeah, they're doing a number on him right now, so we probably need to go help out. Let's go charge in. Bertram, come over here and go after his dark shards who are just not fleeing. Carl, let's have you come over here. It's time now, I think. They do have artillery. Ooh, gross. And we do have the gates, finally. Okay, so I want my spearmen over here. And then I want... Let me go look at it. You've killed 57. Good work. Ethan, you'll come join in. I want my Demi Griffin Knights over here. They'll charge in too and go right at their flank, right at their neck. We do have a black dragon to kill. That's going to be pretty challenging. Okay, Carl, you've got nearly 200 kills now because you are just really powerful. Let's go after these guys over here. Yeah, I think for my future campaigns, I have a really good idea on what mods to use as a bounce to things and all that. I'll probably use like the instant quest mod just so that when we level up appropriately, we can just go do it right then and there just so that we don't have to do all the weird little things. Because I know a lot of people want me to do them, but like I always have to put it off for a super long time. And the real challenge of it is not like what's on the freaking campaign map, all right? The real challenge would be when you actually fight the battle. And usually if I fight them like right when I can, that would be interesting. Okay, time for you to go fight, buddy. You'll go in. Ethan, come over here. You're going to lead my Demogriff Knights into battle. Fritz, I'm going to have you probably continue to go after a few targets. Yeah, great swords come over here. Spearmen, I want you guys to kind of move up a little bit. All three of you. Fritz will come join in later. Let's go debuff him. And done. So now he's fighting a black dragon alone in the skies in Nagarond. Oh my god. Emperor, you are great. Okay, so now we have more guys moving in. I do have artillery hitting my great swords, and that's why I didn't want to go over there. That was a bad idea. No, let's go move over here. Do they own other locations? Yeah, I would love like a Rome 2 style siege battle, man. Like, no matter how imbalanced they were for the AI, it was a lot of fun to watch them fight over streets like that. How's it going? Want to duel? Oh, yeah, we'll duel. Come on in. Let's go. Can't forget about you, buddy. Let's come over here and go after more artillery. They've got plenty. Fritz, come on down. They try to shoot me, so be it. Ethan, come on down. He's coming down to help out. What a big fight. He's able to regenerate. That's why he's doing so well, too. Okay. My Demigriff Knights are taking out all the cold ones. I mean, we have anti-large. We're meant to hunt down these creatures. Just made it in, and they all fled. Okay, so Witch Hunters are now really great to use. 83 kills. Holy crap. He deals a lot of damage. Could have had you go after her. I wonder how much damage you could do to her. Just shoot her once. I want to find out. Find out how quick would it be if you were to go after her. I mean, I don't know what's from accusation. I did just use accusation, but okay. I think he fires like a little bit faster now too. That could be what's up. But if you look at that alone, if you gave him like a good minute, she would be dead. Shoot again. Two seventy-two. So not like a ton of damage, but. I wonder if you'll deal more in melee. It's a good question. Okay, so we lost over 400. They lost over 1,200. We managed to win. I mean, we have elite units here, all buffed up. A lot of really good heroes. I mean, Bertram killed 69. Ethan killed 28. Carl, 172. 
Fred's killed 83 in that battle. What a fantastic array of arms here for our entire team. Moksha did so well by dying. <laughs> no, she didn't get to use as much magic. At that point, I killed like most of their forces, so I mean, they had like no chance. We got them though. Loot and Occupy. Have more money. Sapper. Cool. We have that trait. I now have it. Occupied Nagarond. Check that out. Ha ha ha. Not quite tier 5, but we can get there. I can build no unique buildings here. That is okay. I'm going to get my stone cutter for my marble. And I'm going to get some better walls. I don't mind having a fort here. All right, so now we've got a lot to invade over here. Oh, things are a lot more wide open than they were in the Vortex campaign. Yeah, different map. Let's go look around real quick. Okay, treasure is over here. Could fight Britannia again just to kind of get Marienburg and a few other locations. I have a lot of money. I can certainly build up a new army again if I choose to. Let's take that up. If I can upgrade it, I'll do it. I don't even want to see like all these little things. I wish I could just like get rid of that. I wish our little like list over here were a little bit better. We could like fine tune them. Okay. Gelt, Arch Lecter. I don't want you guys doing much right now. Well, Arch Lecter, I guess you can come over here. Yeah, come on. Let's bring you way down over here. That was a really fun fight though. That was a really tough one. I was about to lose entire groups, but we managed to pull through, which was fantastic. So when we're back, we'll keep on playing. I want to thank all of you for watching. Do leave a like and comment down below what you think about the campaign. And let me know what you think we should be doing right now. Until then.